Uh, welcome back to the channel. Just wanted to make a quick one, real quick. Uh, for future reference when I watch these. Um, so, I found out today, last fucking second, that I'm not hanging chickens. I'm working in the Chick-fil-A section, which is just another section in the slaughterhouse for chickens. <laughs> and I'm, you know, it's going to Chick-fil-A. Goddamn bugs. But yesterday, there was a dude in front of me. Um, Power of Scorpio. This is kind of like a Scorpio video. It's really interesting. I don't know how long I got on this. Hopefully it lasts. I'll mention the guy and the Scorpio thing in a second. I will bring up this. Being a Scorpio stallion with an Aries moon in my last life, it's amazing how when I walked towards my death, the sun and the moon was in Aquarius and Leo. The full moon was in Leo. I had to do my Saturn and Aries mission. It, it really played out to where I was hacking the Matrix with the fixed stelliums. For instance, the two big events I talk about is the mountain story, that one I just mentioned, and the plane. Both of which were needed. I'm a fixed stellium in Taurus, Leo, and, and Scorpio. And I have... An Aquarius stellium, in a sense, it's kind of hidden in my chart in a way you wouldn't notice. Um, that's how air works. Anyway, um, but uh, I'm like a fixed stellium god. It's really trippy. I got a stellium in each fucking thing, but mostly Taurus and Scorpio because they're the outer, you know, my outer my outer planets was in Leo. So when I walked towards my death, I had to do a Saturn and Aries thing. I had to walk towards the gate. I had to go through the night of Scorpio. That was the Scorpio energy. Without a doubt, it's funny because that was the day it was all very Scorpio-like. But when I went to um, uh, to leave on August 8th, that's 8-8-2021, that literally is Scorpio, Scorpio, Leo by the numbers. But it was in a Leo, Leo, Leo August 8th is a Leo sun, Leo full moon on 2021. So it was really interesting because it was like I was hacking all the events. I went through that portal. I even talked to that girl through, from Michigan about that, that day. She did a ritual that day. Very interesting. And um, anyway, the point is I, I always have to hack. It, I, it was – and I don't know this stuff. When you follow your feelings, this is why it's important to follow your feelings because there's beings and forces above you that know more than you do. And they know how to move you, the chess piece, on the board perfectly to where you're going to end up having things you wanted and more than what you ever could imagine. You're going to get more than what you even could imagine. You couldn't even have with your limited perspective down here on the ground, you know, you're in the maze. You don't know which way to go. If you were higher up and looking down, you could just, oh yeah, you just got to take five rights, two lefts, and like you'd be out. But you ain't going to do that. Same concept Dolo talks about with a dog. You can have a dog all day, and if that dog bites and growls at you, you know, no matter how much love you give it, eventually you're going to stop fucking with that dog. It says journey on that. <laughs> but you're going to stop fucking with that dog, and it's going to go run out and get hit by a car because it doesn't know no better. Because you're a higher being right now, and you can't communicate. You cannot even communicate to a dog, really, besides through emotion. Like, if that dog is sitting there, doesn't listen, has a low teachability index, you, you have a dog that doesn't listen and attacks you no matter what the fuck you do, you're going to stop giving a shit. And the dog is unaware that it lives in a society where, it could, I mean, it doesn't know at all, and yet it's the world it lives in. Isn't it crazy? It could be almost in any place, all in America or in other countries, and there's a lot of interesting reactions. In some countries, they'd eat that dog. And, other, <laughs> and I'm not kidding. And other places that goes to a fucking kill shelter. You know, it's so it's that's the same thing here. It's and it's interesting because that dog lives here and it doesn't know it. You live here, and from a higher beings perspective, that's here too, in a sense. You don't even know. And it's right here. Again, nothing's leaving here. You're just gonna be like that dog if you don't follow your feelings. That's the higher beings telling you, go that way, but you don't wanna. Like, at some point, they're just not going to give a shit, and that's why they got people that get hit by trucks and cars and 
get robbed and killed and drive-bys. You shouldn't have went to that party. They told you not to go to that party. Maybe they stopped giving a fuck to tell you about where to go because you're some dude that doesn't listen to the higher forces and you just do whatever the fuck you want. And then eventually you got shot up in that drive-by. I'm not saying it was an accident. I'm just saying, you know, it's more important to follow your feelings. So anyway, point is, you follow your feelings, you get interesting results. Leo, uh, 515, Leo, Aries, Leo. So I had to hack, you know, looking back, I could tell that I was hacking the matrix. Like, I'm these certain signs. And the day I go to my death was a query. Imagine this is a, I'm making it up, but it is technically a cross because Leo's these, the cardinal signs, mutable signs, they're all across from each other. That's why the opposite of Taurus is Scorpio. The opposite of Leo is Aquarius. So it's like the night the sun was in Aquarius and the moon was in Leo. I came in through the, through, through it, through that portal sideways into the Scorpio realm. It was death depth dark i had my nuts almost ripped off by wolves scorpio rules the the junk it does and i I literally almost had my junk ripped off by wolves on native american territory with satan everything possessed it was the most warlike dark you know it was the most intense you couldn't even compare it to anything and it was like triple stacked yeah and it's funny because later when i went to get on that plane I went through the Leo Leo portal. So it was the sun and Leo and the moon and Leo. And I had to get on a plane. And I went to Amsterdam. Amsterdam says, I am. It says, I Amsterdam. It says, Amsterdam. I am. And I got a picture of me standing in front of it in the Amsterdam airport. And that's the saying of Aries. In my last life, I said a Scorpio Aries. And it's funny because the night I ended up, which is eight days later, I landed on 8-8. I had to wait eight more days. So 888, which is Scorpio, 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 was the day I hopped over the fence when the moon was half and half. Now, I walked towards my death and I came in through the Scorpio, Aquarius, Leo. I came in sideways through it, through that portal to a death-like situation, even though the moon's in Leo, which makes no sense, you would think. But then I had to finish the other half of what I started. Whatever you put out comes back. I had to hack the other half of it when I hopped over the airport fence on uh, August 16th when the moon was half and half perfectly. Like the moon was one of those 50-50 black and white and it was in Scorpio. It was in Leo Scorpio. So I like, I 50-50 came in at a corner and then I, when I hopped the airport fence, I only had to come, I only had to handle a quarter of it. That airport fence story was, you would think the story earlier, if you were to really be there, so you hopped over some wooded, some fence in Native American territory that's, you know, basically woods. And, you know, that's it, really. Like, I mean, a lot happened. But, you know, somebody else would hear me hopping over an airport fence and laying down underneath the 747. Way more challenging. No. <laughs> that was fucking cake. <laughs> I almost said cheesecake. Yeah, it was delicious. That was cheesecake. It's 818 in comparison. Scorpio area, Scorpio, when I look. Uh, in comparison, that was easy shit. So anyway, when I walked towards my death, all of a sudden, like when I went to Waffle House, I had these two girls that just loved me. They were both dykes. And I mean that in no negative way. Um, and one was a Taurus Sun Aries moon. I'm a Taurus Sun Libra moon in this life. And the other one was an Aries. That all, For all I know, uh, Taurus Aries, was ch- her name was Chance. She was cool. She went to prison or whatever for like something she didn't even do. And she got a second chance in life instead of getting killed or um, whatever. So the fact that like somebody that tough who traveled around, I mean, these two girls are tough. They were tough as fuck. And they just gave me instant respect. It was really cool. It was kind of weird. And the reason why is because I hacked that night through that Scorpio situation. I somehow got blessings from all the Aries in my life. And now that I hopped over the airport fence, which is the most Aries-like thing, I'm I get all the Scorpios in my life that give me respect. Now. It's weird. It's like a you know, I do the this thing and I got the opposite thing, but I go and do this thing and then I got this thing. You know, I do the Scorpio mission, Aries respect me. I do the Aries mission, Scorpios respect me. Fifty fifty did. Fifty fifty did. It was really interesting. So. It was really cool because, like, I mean, it was odd. Like, people that I know would never fucking talk to me are now talking to me. And I'm like, 
well, that's because they're, and then when you know astrology and you've been studying it and it's like all of a sudden you realize like, wow, the difference is because you could tell when you study it every day for years and everybody that comes into your circle, you see the similarities and patterns. My mom, for instance, Tauruses. I'm a Taurus. My brother's a Taurus. Her ex is a Taurus. The guy before him was a Taurus. My little brother's dad was a Taurus. They're all Tauruses. That's because she's not learning her value system. She has a fucked up value system. I mean, she's she's learning that something from that sign. The universe keeps throwing that energy at you because you need to understand it and master it. That's why that happens. So if you're not getting over your challenges, you're going to keep attracting the same like people. Now, you might be dating different people, different zodiac signs, but you don't understand their full astrology chart and realize, oh, I, like if I look at it, I could be like, oh, yeah, I could totally see why. Why? Because their relationship sign Venus is in fucking Taurus. And you don't even know what that is. Or their Mars is and they're, you know, same sex. And you're a female. You know, da, 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 da. it doesn't matter. But the point is um, today I went to uh, – or yesterday, sorry. There was a guy in front of me at this new job. And I never talked to him. He sat in front of me. There was no – nothing. I mean compared to everybody in the room, he is a stranger. I never made eye contact or anything. And I saw it. It said Scorpio on the back of his neck and he had tats. He looked like a dude from prison obviously I could tell. And I took my pen and I twirled it like um, truth or dare. And I asked, is anybody in here going to be my friend? And it pointed right at him. And I was like, huh. And then today, this morning, I was sitting at my table alone before the day started. And he came over and sat with me across. And he's a Scorpio. So, you know, we feel your soul. We can tell when there's – if you're blind to us or not. Like if you watch my last video, I talk about those two guys that, you know, I can sense you from down the fucking street. You don't get it. Like I can sense your intentions. We wonder if we can sleep in your, you know, if we, you know, we can't stay a night at the hotel. And we were wondering if we could rest up a little bit. Like fuck no. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like fuck no. I don't trust. I don't like your vibe. No. And then they like okay, and they walked away, and I laughed. Cause you deserve it. Without a doubt. I at this point, dude. For a lot of you guys, a lot of you people, the things I do, if you were to watch me do them, would be very assumption based. You're really assuming. And to know and not to do is not to know. That's true. And I always remember that. But you're assuming the fact that I don't know this exact experience. I've done this pattern. They tell you Scorpios um, never forget a pattern. They see patterns in people. All day. They see your pattern in people. They hang out at your house. You fucking say something negative to the, one of your roommates or somebody else that lives in your house. And then look back at you and you're having a good time. That's a pattern. Obviously, if I hang out with you, I'm going to be a guy in your house or a person in your house. And I just watch you fucking treat one of those people like shit. That's a pattern. I just watch you do it. You might not have treated me like shit. And that person might have been very light. Thank you for the confirmation. But we sense the behind it. Anyway, so I had a great conversation with him. He even went back and got me a pop turf. It's kind of like... The energy of, I don't know if all these guys just want to fuck me or not. I don't really know. I, I risked my life for another a man, and I connected with a man more than anybody. And my North Node's in Virgo, which is kind of the path I had to walk to do all that I just said. So it plays out like that. I don't know. It really does play out energetically. Like a lot of women just hate me, and a lot of men want to fuck me. And it sucks because I don't want that attracted to men. <laughs> It's a curse. <laughs> oh, fuck. Whatever you put out comes back, and I put out a lot of energy, beamed it, trying to save another person's life who was a guy. Likewise, the female in the car was possessed by Satan and coming off heroin. It was like pissing and puking everywhere. So <laughs> my vibration towards her or it was shut the fuck up. <laughs> and so it wasn't as great. But I want to make a video about it because the dude's name was Will and he had the word – he said my nickname's Wolf. He also had the word Wolf tattooed in the back of his neck. Again, a reference to the fact I got attacked by wolves at the nuts. Here's a Scorpio who's named Wolf and I call him my little Will Wolf. <laughs> I'm a little Will Wolf, 1441. <laughs> He's like a werewolf, but Will. And he gave me a pop tart. Like he got up, walked the wheel, chill, came back with pop tart. <laughs> it's like what? Like this is that dude. 
from the joint who you wouldn't think, you know, like that's what I mean why it's so cool being me. I get respect from people that, for God's sake, you never would think will give me respect. They just know. This motherfucker knows. I love that. <laughs> Scorpios hate it because they feel like they, you should be able to read their mind. He literally even said, when he walked, sat up, he said, where are you from? I said, Missouri. He goes, oh, that's why nobody else here understands you. Like, as in he knew something. I didn't, we didn't get too damn deep about it. I talk, talked a little about astrology and about work. But um, beautiful energy. I loved it. And I really love that about my life because, I mean, Aries and Scorpio people are not, you know, Aries don't give a fuck. It's about themselves, man. Like, you know, they're the fucking superhero. Uh, so to have other superheroes give you props, fuck yeah, without even having to prove nothing. They just know. And the same thing with the Scorpios. It's really cool. So I really appreciate that. Because uh, a lot of those signs, um, they stick to themselves anyway. So there's not really a reason to go out of their way to show you anything. You know? So it's really, really beautiful. I mean, and most of the time, the best you get is some negative energy. Because uh, I just watched a video and this girl had a great point. Um, the opposite of love is in hate. It's apathy. Trust me. <laughs> I know. <laughs> so you don't give a fuck at all. You don't care at all. You couldn't care at all at all. Like, I don't care if I want you to die or anything. I don't care at all. Like, it's, it's, there's no emotion. There's no connection, feeling my energy into that at all. Like, no help, no, you know, even attacking you can help you out more than anything. And that's really the secret about Scorpios, for instance. Uh, Aries too, but Scorpios in particular, like they do self detriment, but they grow from it. They come into they they, change, they want to go through bullshit. The every time bullshit a good Scorpio, every a good Scorpio, a, a higher end Scorpio, when they go through shit, it's like you want more of that. I was listening to this by Kevin Trudeau. He used to talk about this all the time. He said, if you look at all the business, all the major events that'll happen in your life, he said, you you're gonna see this down then it goes up so you're really wanting more of those downs because you know anybody can be happy during a good time it's how how can you handle a negative experience how you know so the worse it is the better it is and the worse it is and the better you feel during the worst of it is how much more of a jump you're going to get you know you're going to get more of those but they're going to climb like that. Other people are going fucking down. They hate themselves when things are going great. When it gets bad, they just hate and they hate and they hate and they hate and they hate. But when you're happy and the gun gets in your face and you're still happy and just you know you got a million dollars and you get robbed and I got 2 million dollars like it just keeps going like it just does that. The difference with Scorpio or the thing about Scorpios is they they you know good Scorpio just bring it the fuck on. And Aries doesn't really even think about it. They don't really care. They might not finish things, but they they have a zest to life where they just go out and they do things automatically without thinking, which really leads them into some very interesting scenarios. It's just really cool because they, you know, they're the person that jumps in front of a subway train and saves somebody, not because they actually thought about the fact that it's going to kill them and they're going to save the kid, but it's obviously if they're a good person, they know that that was they, they only saw step one, which was save the person. They really didn't see the subway train. Hard to believe, but I'm telling you, I've deal I deal with a lot of Aries. Scorpio ain't necessarily like that. I'm not saying a Scorpio wouldn't do that situation. I'm just saying a Scorpio would go through dark night of the soul bullshit over and over again because they're going to eventually change, transform, and have wings and fly high above all of that shit. You're going to eat a phoenix rising. But to have those kind of people walk up and just be nice to me, you know, because them loving you is fucking with you. Aries likes to fuck with you. They're that kid in, like, kindergarten that, like, kicks shit and shit. <laughs> if they like you, they kick you yeah. Like Capricorns do that shit too. Capricorns, like, yeah, the four signs would kind of kick you. Scorpio might be a little to itself, but, you know, they fuck with you in a way. Scorpio would fuck with you mentally more. They're an emotional sign, but they master of puppets. <laughs> they like to mind game you. Um, it would just play out that way where they're puppeteering you. Get out of it, goddamn flies. I'm going to end this because I don't want to make this too long. And there's an airplane. Oh, think about how cool my life is. Every time I see an airplane, I laid down underneath an airplane in Amsterdam. 
did you know in Amsterdam they pump out the um, water? So Amsterdam is below sea level. So when you think about it deeply, and when I was talking to a witch, a girl possessed later who had an Aquarius rising, which I was able to energetically we, we energy transfer. When you know astrology with somebody who's good with it, you can energy transfer and have watch as your um, manifestations around you change really fucking weird. Um, like say someone did Leo stellium and you got an injury on your leg, you could trade energy and then your leg will be healed by tomorrow. I lived with a dude who was a Leo stellium, you get a motorcycle wreck, be fine the next day. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, um, what was it talking about? Oh yeah, so in Amsterdam, they pump out the water. So I, if you think about what spirit wanted me to do energetically, it makes sense. If you think about elements and all this, is I had to be underneath an airplane that flies, but it was driving. So it was a flying vehicle that was driving underneath water. And I was under it. If you really think about it, because Amsterdam is underneath sea level. So it's already like something that shouldn't be possible, let alone the fact that there's a plane underneath sea level you know water should be here like just naturally like think about how much man fucks with something to the point where i'm sitting in a scenario where i should be underneath water in the depths but i'm underneath a plane that's taxiing underneath sea level and later like i said with that witch we were talking about my capricorn being one of my um guide signs not my guy there's a guide a ruler and another one in your astrology chart i can't remember what that's called but it was in my highest degree in Capricorn's Earth, and it rules um, new ways, uh, being a cardinal sign. It's new ways of playing the game, which is basically saying it's in Neptune, which is imagination and creativity to the highest degree. So basically, I got this witch next to me who wanted to voodoo me, get me shot by other people to get a get. She hated me, hated. Whereas I remember this moment. She's sitting there like, it looks like here in your chart, you're fucked. She just kept saying that, and I'm like, nope. <laughs> she just kept saying the same thing over and over, which is like, you're fucked. Like she just wanted me to. She was like one of those tarot readers that want to give you this horrible reading, and then you go out on your day, and then you manifest a situation where all that bad shit happens because you're dumb enough to listen to somebody that just told you all that and so she was trying to do that but she really was spiritual so she really does know what she's looking at and I eventually I was sitting there prying her down she finally said fuck it and like in her mind and she like said your Capricorn's a Neptune and so basically you got the ability to just snap your fingers and whatever the stupidest imaginative power out there you could possibly imagine like Pisces Jesus shit just happens in reality now congratulately because <laughs> she's a capricorn stellium of five signs so she's very aware anyway so i had to st i had to because there was a person uh taking out a bag <laughs> i had to put it all out <laughs> so scared her away <laughs> Twenty-two fifty-five. Oh no but it was really funny i thought it was really funny but yeah every time i see an airplane think about that i, th I think about that shit every time i see an airplane you have no idea it's really cool. Anyway, I wish you guys a good day. Um, I'm happy to have my job. I'm just happy. I'm ready to get my apartment. I'm ready to get a place to live. Uh, yeah. <laughs>